She recently discussed slimming from a size 16 to a svelte size 8. And Davinia Taylor was showing of her body transformation in all its glory on Wednesday as she took to Instagram to post a slew of bikini snap. The former Hollyoaks actress and toilet role heiress, 43, who played party girl Jude Cunningham on the soap from 1996 to 1998, took a dip in the sea in a sizzling black bikini before indulging in a paddleboard sesh. Davinia was famed for her position in the notorious Primrose Hill party set, where she joined her then husband Dave Gardner in partying through the 90s with pals including Kate Moss, Sandy Frost, and Judy. She shares son Gray, 13, with Dave, and Lux, 9, whose father has never been revealed, and Asa, 6, and 4 year old Jude with her partner Matt Davinia, who has a well documented battle with alcohol addiction, looked incredible in the snaps as she flaunted the results of her. The bikini highlighted her cleavage and her washboard abs as she expertly took to the ocean on the paddleboard before being joined by one of her four. She added a caption on the snap reading, Anyone else? I'm just to get in the sea. I will never take it for granted again. Even when it does get a bit spooky when you get out deep hashtag holiday hashtag Spain hashtag Mediterranean. Her ex Dave liked the image. Last month, Davinia spoke about being near death finding sobriety and weight gain in a candid interview with the Hot Mess Mums podcast. Now focused on well-being, Davinia said, I'm definitely not a doctor or anything but I have been extremely unhealthy, near-death unhealthy, through fault of my own and genetics and environment or whatever. But I am always up for trying something, even if a doctor says don't try it. I'm sitting there staring at an overweight doctor who smokes 20 a day and drinks a bottle of wine, or dare I say a box of wine every evening, and I'm like, yeah I think I will do my own to see what works best for me to be able to think better, move better, feel better, so I don't have to turn to old behaviors, whether it be sugar or booze or whatever, I just want to live without any cravings really, because they are horrible on becoming sober, she said, I think that a lot of people have to go down the AA route, and I went in with AA but they promote you having sugar to swap your alcohol cravings which didn't really work for me. Having said that AA is a lovely place and a very spiritual place, and you can get a lot of serotonin from the group chats, and that's the basis of how it but I'm not 100% behind the AA movement as you can get some really difficult people in there, so for me it was just working my brain to stop getting in AA you hear people who have been abused and had all these awful childhoods and I sat there thinking, why am I here? I've had an amazing childhood, hilarious upbringing, great education, like what the hell is my problem? She continued, that's when I got into genetics to figure out what it is that makes me be able to consume so much alcohol and be able to detoxify from it, so I don't puke up and yet still want more, and that's all in my genetic code. Davinia said that her life has changed somewhat since she used to let her hair down and she said, well, when I was a party animal it's safe to say I did let my hair right down, but now, my ideal lockdown situation in terms of letting my hair down would be just to get my This does not happen on days 1 to 5 by the way. I'll go for a little run, I'll listen to some house music, I'll get some euphoria, I'll make sure the kids are all in bed and then I will sit in my hot sauna, it's like a sauna. Now a healthy size 8, Davinia said that at one point, she ballooned to a size 16 to 18, which didn't feel right. She said, it depended on what shop I was in, but I was around a 16 to 18. I did balloon and I didn't even realize, I just lied. I thought I was eating the right foods, I was eating a whole grain heavy diet, not realizing that they are heavy and super I was in a state of craving and diet days. What motivated me was that I found it an effort to even get out of bed to go for a sh So, it wasn't just the weight, I thought there is something mentally wrong here. I mean because people say, just go for a walk, and I thought, I can't even go for a shower. I was that fatigued. That's what annoyed me because all I would read is eat less, do more and that's when I started doing the cold showers and